Hi everyone. So uh, I've been testing and playing with the Con Marker B6. They sent me this machine for testing and see how well it performs under some of the most common things that I do. Um, I gotta say the machine is super, super nice. It's compact. It's like really condensed. Everything is there. It, it has an area of 150 by 150 millimeters to work with, uh, which is pretty decent. Uh, like every fiber laser, the corners has a little bit of distortion because the curvature of the lens, but that is not an issue. I haven't found that to be uh, any kind of a problem for me. Uh, I did a couple of stuff. I'm, I'm gonna run those videos after we talk a little bit about this machine. So as of right now with the Black Friday deal that they have, uh, the machine is uh, roughly $345 discount. I have the website put in here for you to see. Uh, I'll put all the information on the descriptions below. Then uh, a couple of things that I noticed in this machine. So one of the main things that I like in this machine is it can be, a, let's call it unibody, like one single piece, everything where the main board and all the rest is underneath. Then you have your working area, the column and the laser itself. One single thing, my cat. He just want attention. The other option that you have is to have it as a split unit, which means you can have the main control unit on a side, right? Regular fiber lasers and the working area with the column and the laser can be displayed elsewhere. And it's not like elsewhere in the other room. It's like at the same table kind of thing that you can move stuff around, which will make it easier if you want to do stuff with a rotary. So let's keep that in mind. So they call this functionality the two-in-one designs. And I can see that as a two-in-one. I still think it's a really, really nice thing to have. Now, who should be looking into this laser specifically? Because something that I learned over the years is that every laser has a market. So diode lasers is an entry-level laser that it will work with wood and organic materials depending what machine you get or depending where you are looking to perform is the size of the diode, the power of the diode and different other options they are available in the market. But fiber lasers, fiber lasers are mostly for inorganic materials on metal and not all inorganic necessarily because it won't do much on a clear acrylic or, or nothing. Um, you need to be careful with what laser you choose for what task. This laser, I gotta say, is the perfect starting point. And I'm gonna say it's in the edge of a professional uh, fiber laser. And when I say a professional, because the size mostly and lenses that you can use, uh, or an entry level fiber laser with a 20 watt. So. Right now we have fiber laser for 100 to 150 watts. This laser is perfect for people that is going to do jewelry. So dog tag, business cards, bracelets, and you will see that here and other stuff like that. This is perfect. Now they have a maximum speed and, and let's talk about that too. They have a maximum speed of a 15,000 millimeters per second. Now that is an acceleration speed. That is not necessarily uh, the real speed that you're going to get for all the engravings because the engraving speed can go up to a 15,000 if you're doing a line. It won't do a 15,000 on a scanning surface or bitmaps and stuff like that. So it's a little bit different how speed goes. Uh, that doesn't mean it's necessarily misleading, but it can achieve a speed of a 15,000 millimeters per second. Now, the accuracy of this laser is 0 0.01 millimeter spot size. That means that you are going to have image really sharp. And with that being said, they are calling this 8K HD accuracy, which is uh, just a name, but you're doing a 0 0.01 millimeters uh, dot size. They have a smart LED on the top that allows you to do the focal point up and down and the out of focus. Out of focus, though. Ah, 
uh, out of focus. All the companies have an out of focus in a different way nowadays. But their out of focus is super, super nice. It's super exciting. It's really responsive. So far, I haven't had issues with missing the focal point. Now, my concern and my problem with the focal came on if your working area is like this, you know, you have a square. So your working area is here. The focal point is on the front right. It's not in the middle of your working area. Uh, that is a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, I wish it was in the middle of a working area. Maybe they are working on a way to make it. Uh, and I'm not sure. But whatever you put there, you focus on that first. It's going to be perfect on the middle. I don't know how that works, but they did it. It works great. Now, in what I'm saying, I don't know how they did it because you know you have your lens here. So the distance from here is straight down here is different than the distance from here to a corner. So they have their own algorithm working on it and it works pretty good. Uh, and it's a really, really nice functionality to have. Class one. Class one is something that lasers are coming out more and more, especially with diode. Uh, CO2 lasers were class one long before. But fiber lasers, you, you, you didn't talk on a fiber laser about a class one fiber laser. There are a com couple companies that they have an enclosure way before uh, this is start happening for fiber lasers. But now there are, they have an option to buy the laser and have a whole enclosure making your fiber laser a class one laser. That means you have the safety of a class one enclosure on a fiber. That's really good. I don't I don't know the enclosure, uh, but if you're like me, you don't own the disclosure, just make sure that you wear the goggles, the safety goggles. They are provided with the uh, uh, fiber laser. And also you can buy shields and put it around it to protect people around you. That is not going to create a, enough vacuum for a fume extraction 100%. But if you want a better management on the fume extraction, you can use some of our accessories or you can use their enclosure. And that's up to you. So the laser is coming in a really compact size and it's packed with amazing features. They have a 20 watt and the 30 watt and they also have a B6 MOPA, which is, uh, I believe is a 60 watt. But one of the things that you need to remember, this is a fiber laser, so they use EasyCut 2. That's the main board that they are using, uh, compatible for EasyCut 2. And of course, it's 100% compatible with Light Burn. Now, the out of focus option so far, uh, everything I've seen and I use is on the machine itself. But uh, I don't know if they're going to release any kind of update on their firmware or something that you can use it with Light Burn. Uh, as now, I haven't tested, to be honest, but I think uh, it will be a really good thing to add in Liburn to control it, you know, there. So um, let's let's go ahead and jump into some of the tests that I was doing with this laser so you can see it. Uh, they're running a Black Friday. I'm going to put the link below. It is an affiliate link. It's a not extra cost to you, but it helps us to keep the channel going. So check the link out, uh, it's under $2,000 for a fiber laser. And I gotta say, I'm really impressed with the quality, the build of this. Uh, you can use a rotary, they have an extension neck, you need to put it taller for taller stuff. It's, it's actually well thought, it's, it's something that I'm impressed about it. So let's see the test and let's talk later. Okay, so again, uh, out of focus. The best way to do the autofocus, I don't know if you see this red dot right here. That means that you put your material over this to make sure. So the material is a little warped, so I'm going to try to make it flatter. There we go. And once it's there, on the top of your laser, all you have to do is select the middle, which is auto. That noise is the electric stepper motor moving for the autofocus. When you have it in autofocus, you can put the material whatever needs to be. So since I'm gonna be changing multiple materials, I don't need and I don't want 
really to right now put jigs for everything so I just want to test this material so as right now the bar is to be centered so what I do is I put the center of the machine how I want it so there is and I'm gonna engrave in this bracelet just our website and my settings for this one it's gonna be fill I wanna do a 65 uh, on power I wanna do 300 millimeters per second and I'm gonna do a frequency of 37 the line interval is going to be 0 0.05 should be enough and I'm gonna do one pass first normally I will do a cross hatch to clean it so probably will be a good idea right now and safety first goggles I have these goggles for fiber lasers so let's fire this laser so it's just a website on a bracelet really quick so it's doing the first pass and now it's gonna go on the opposite direction for the cross hatch There it is, I'm gonna call that my cleaning layer. And this is probably overkill, but I, I wanna show you one thing here. I use 100% the out of focus option and it's really, really precise. There you go. Let's clean this up. It, it was really, really, really nice. Now, let's do a steel dog tack. So, then, same thing. I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna press on the top. Out of focus. All right. So, if you're new into laser, you need to get one of these things, uh, caliper. We have it on the website for one dollar, the plastic ones, the simple ones. So you measure this size. So 27.95, 28, let's call it. And this one is uh, 49.85, 87. I wanna clean it <coughs> really quick just to wipe that grease and everything that I put on usually I'm more careful with this because you know this is just for testing so now let's do something different so I'm gonna create the ad work and we are gonna put it on All right, so now I'm framing a square where I want this to be. So I wanna try to make sure that it's straight and it's inside the boundaries of what I need. So this is a steel, like really polished steel. I already focus on it. So what I'm gonna do is I have a trace vector image that I'm gonna put there. It's like a motorcycle rider, like a skull or a skeleton. So I'm gonna change my settings here. I'm gonna use, I don't wanna do nothing deep in this one specifically. I wanna mark it. So I'm gonna actually use the 70% power and I'm gonna use right now a thousand I want to see what happened with a thousand it's a fast laser so I want to try now the frequency this laser goes from 20 to 40 so I'm gonna use a 20 
kilohertz uh, on the frequency and I'm going to still use a cross hatch and I'm going to do the 0 0.05 so this is going to take a minute but the magic of the camera will make it faster so let's go with this now that it's there there is the area let's put the extraction a little stronger there it is and let's go all right so when you grab your metal metal pieces just make sure that it's not super hot this one doesn't heats up a lot because it was a really quick thing so let me show you really quick what it is it, and this sticks on the fiber cloth because it's there in the middle so this is how it looks as right now now i'm gonna do the back and we're gonna try to get this black so we're gonna center this again there it is now for black engraving a couple of things that i have before with my other fiber you need to be a lot slower and not necessarily super low on a frequency so i'm going to use a 35 on my frequency but i'm going to use only 100 millimeters per second and i'm going to lower my size to the 0.01 so I'm gonna go to the maximum the quality that this can give me. Now in power, I wanna do the 90% power. And I wanna try to burn this metal a little more. So this is definitely going to heat up the metal. So just be aware of that. So I'm gonna remove the cross hatch. I'm gonna do one pass first. I'm gonna send it on. All right, this is done and I'm sure this one is actually hot. It's warm. So this needs to be clean, but it's a nice dark engrave so this just needs to be clean this is a difference this is on a dark engraving and just in a quick pass so this is 34 seconds and this one took six minutes and 20 seconds so now if you're doing jewelry and you're doing like just a name on the piece of jewelry it's going to take you five to ten seconds so you can get a really nice marking in this machine without going too deep of course a couple other passes clean passes or whatever will make it a lot better so now what happened if i want to do that on a blue business card because I don't know if you have this issue. I use blue business card in other machines. I'm not gonna say the name, but everything is green. And they come out really inconsistent. So I wanna change my settings to something that I, I will probably use on a business card. 400 power, I'm gonna say 75. 400 fill I'm not gonna I I usually use or cross hatch or I do two passes with a 180 degrees or 90 degrees depending what I'm doing but I want to do the cross hatch right now frequency I want to leave it on 25 and it's gonna be 0 0.05 so let's give it a try All right.
it came out really nice. So let's grab another one. This is a fresh one. I'm gonna put it here. I'm going to remove that and I'm gonna change my settings. So what I'm gonna do now on my settings is I'm going to increase the speed. I wanna do 500, I'm gonna keep the 75. Everything I'm gonna keep it as it is, but I'm gonna add a queen pass. So instead of that cross hatch, I'm adding a queen pass that is going to be the speed of this clean pass was it's gonna be a thousand. The power is going to be only 30. The frequency is going to be 40. One pass, nothing spe special. The only difference is that I'm, go I'm going to change the scan to 90 degrees, so it goes differently maybe 45 to make it prettier okay and send this and this came out perfect just want to clean your card for the debris but this is perfect so with this machine I have no issues with a blue business cards so that's good to know all right so that was actually nice uh, to see that's kind of the performance i've been testing and looking into this machine and the b6 from con marker promised to be a really good machine if you want to get into uh, jewelry you want to get into making the business cards and stuff like that you can do many many other uh, materials like a slate coaster. Slate coasters are awesome to make in this machine and really even. Uh, I haven't had issues like I have with my other dual laser. Um, I have some issues because the blue business cards or these anodized blue business cards are usually weird how they interact with my other machine. With this machine, as you see, they, they came clean, nice. Uh, that's one of the things that I like. So things that you will find on the box uh, with this laser, besides the laser itself, the power adapter cable, uh, they have a rotary drive that comes with the machine. <clears throat> and they also provide a foot switch, which is super nice. Again, this is thought as a, a small entry level laser. And I say small entry level because it's not 100 watts, uh, but, they thought this into the production right out of the box. So if you're working on an environment where you're going to be working, the pedal is for light burning easy cat. You just put the jewelry there, press the pedal and repeat the job and repeat the job and repeat the job. So you can mass produce things. They also provide a 15 centimeters uh, extension. So you can put the pillar higher. And if you're doing like a big tumbler or something with a rotary, it will be perfect. Uh, all, the, all the Allen wrenches, a ruler, a uh, couple brackets for fixturing the goggles. They have an adapter for the USB cards, so you can use them. <laughs> That's my dog. Anyway, uh, you have some free materials for testing and get to know your laser. It's not a, it's not a cheap laser. It's not built cheaply it's not one of those random chinese lasers so con marker is coming along very very well uh and the brand actually did an amazing job in this machine so i recommend you to take a look of it now like every other laser you need to make sure that you take care of your machine they provide the lens cap uh i have a tag that i put there so i remember to remove it you don't need a tag if you remember i i might forgot to remove it once or twice in other lasers so there's a tag and the lifetime that they promise in this machine uh for i'm gonna guess for the diode itself and other components is rated for a hundred thousand hours so if you take care of the machine you clean the fans and you keep everything on the best possible conditions it's a machine that's going to last you a long time then uh let's talk about the frequency the frequency in hertz uh is 
on the man and this is something that I noticed the manual has one specific frequency but the website have a different one so on the website have 40 to 60 but the manual has 20 to 40 and then when you go to the configuration process on the other manual say 20 to 200 so Please, if you are testing this machine, leave your comments below. What did you find on it? Uh, I already sent an email to Conmarker uh, to, to check some of the specifications, uh, probably because mine came before the final production or the sales on this one. They adjust that to complete a better information on it. Engraving speed from zero, from one millimeter per second, to 15,000 millimeter per second engraving accuracy of 0 0.01. Uh, the laser wavelength on this one is 1064. Uh, so it's uh, on the uh, infrared spectrum. It's, I, the one I'm testing is a 20 watt. Uh, and it has a pulse width of 130 to 160 nanoseconds. So Easy Cut 2 and Light Burn. Bunch of different things that you can do with this machine. Yes, it does support rotary and come with a rotary drive separately, uh, including on the first kit. So if you buy a rotary, you just plug it in into this drive. So there you guys have it. I hope you like it. While we talk about it, uh, this video is in response to some of the people that want to know if this machine is something that I will use, if this is something that I will recommend for what business? So, Comarker B6 is a great machine if you are going to be doing especially jewelry. That's what I think, especially for jewelry. You can do coasters, you can do leatherettes, you can do leather also, uh, and some other plastics, uh, tumblers, and things like that. You can do a lot of stuff, and it's a really solid and consistent. That's the most important part. It's a really solid and consistent machine. So if you're looking for a business machine, I think this is one that you should take a look on it. So if you like the content, guys, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to get the news, and as always, fire the laser.